Hi everybody, my name is Deborah Dodge and I am the director of the Dancing Hearts Tupperware team. I'm making this little demo for my team to use, so if you are watching this and I am not your consultant, please, please contact my team member who is your personal consultant to order this item, okay? I'm coming to you pretty late with this because I actually got it just before Christmas and did not have time to film this video. So I want to tell you right off the top before we do anything else, this item is only available until 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday, December 29th. Okay, so we just have two more days from right now when I'm filming this to actually obtain one of these for ourselves. So don't delay. Contact your consultant today if you want one. Share with your friends today because I guarantee you, you probably know somebody who really needs one of these awesome, awesome dish drainers. This is a dish drainer. And I will just tell you, I'm in my travel trailer because that is what I bought mine for. And we're winterizing, so that's why there's so much mess behind me here. But hey, it's real life, right? And Tupperware people are real people just like you. So just excuse my mess. We're airing everything out for the winter so nothing gets all icky and musty. All right, so here is our dish drainer. And this is a brand new item, but it's not in our catalog. Um, it came out for the December sale only, which again, in case you're joining me late, it ends on Wednesday, December 29th at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Sharp. And after that minute goes by, we will not be able to order this anymore um, for an undetermined amount of time. That doesn't mean we'll never, ever, ever see it again, but we don't know when we'll see it again. So dish drainers, what do we need dish drainers for? We need them in our homes. We need them in dorm rooms. We need them when we're tent camping. We need them in trailers. We need them in boats. We need them in offices and classrooms. Um, you can use a dish trainer almost anywhere you have you have dishes, right? So some people don't have a dishwasher in the house, or if you're like me, you might have a dishwasher, but you also hand wash a lot of things like blades and pots and pans. So this is going to be handy for you anywhere you use it. What I really like about it is how compact it is. So it's really, it's really, um, what am I trying to say? It's really sturdy <laughs> i was looking for the word sturdy so it's really sturdy so you can pick it up with your dishes on it and carry it which is really nice um, especially if you're one of those tent campers and you've washed your dishes and now you want to take them somewhere else to dry them and put them away and wherever you're keeping them right um but i like that it's nice and flat like this because here in my trailer i have a shelf right below the camera there where i'm going to keep mine while we're traveling down the road because it'll bounce off the counter if i leave it here right the other thing that I really like about it is you can stand it up on its edge. So it'll stand alone on the long edge like that. You can also stand it, of course, on the short edge if you have a tall cabinet, but you'll need to um, put it up against the side of the cabinet because it does tip you a little bit because we've got a ridge here, and I'll tell you why that ridge is there in just one second. So we've got two sides, as you might have noticed already, and both sides are full of kind of like a pegboard, right? With these beautiful channels that draw the water right down and away. And if you are using it on this side, where you can see this hole, your dish plane is tipped downward towards that hole. So it really pulls the water into these little channels here and down and away, and it's gonna drain into your sink or maybe have it on a picnic table and it's gonna drain into a bucket or something like that, right? And then if you flip it over, it's now tipping back towards me in a downward slope. Oops, excuse me, I said that wrong. It's now tipping towards you still, the way I turned it, um, into these channels. So they've made it sloped, so it's still pulling the water into these little channels, and it's draining right down there into this large channel here at the bottom edge. And why would you want that? Well, maybe you like to collect your water and water your plants, or maybe you have pet water, because, right, it's clean water coming off your clean dishes, right? So you could, this is drinkable water that comes off of here for your pets or maybe you need to put a little extra water in your fish tank or you need to water some plants or something like that. So isn't that genius that they made it both ways? Um, and also that, um, I just lost my train of thought. Hey, Tupperware people are real people too. So also for me, I like that um, when we're camping, sometimes we need to rinse a little something outside. 
So even though I have the sink right here, I'll probably use it honestly draining out most of the time. But when I have that little thing that I want to rinse outside like the barbecue grill or something, um, or we need a, a hot rag for our griddle, I'm going to turn it over this way and collect that water and use it instead of wasting it, right? So you get double use out of that water. It's great. And then these are your accessories that it comes with. This, of course, is your dish or bowl holder, and it has little holes underneath. So you can put it anywhere on any of these pegs. You just pop it down like that, but it can go on any row. It can go in any direction, and of course, it fits on the other side as well. So you've got that feature there where you can make it really flexible however you want to arrange your dishes um, or even just take it off if you're doing all big things, right? And you don't need dishes to stand up. One of the things I think I'm personally going to use a lot is I'm going to put it right in the middle. This is my preference um, it, because I can stand my dishes and bowls in my trailer. I use all small dishes, but then I can lean all my other things right against it and that'll really maximize the space for me. And then we have your utensil or silverware holder, which also has those holes in it. It can go anywhere on the board, on either side, on any peg that you want to put it on. You'll see this little notch right here. That is an extra added feature because you can also just put it right here on the corner. And it gives you some extra space. Of course, you'll want this over a sink or over a washcloth because it has holes in the bottom where it'll drain. But that gives you a little bit extra space for your utensils if you have a lot of dishes, right? You can also take this and just press it down. I did figure this out. There you go. If you press it down like that, you can have it on top of your dish drainer too if you don't have very many dishes. And that will give you more space around the board as well. So that is our dish drainer. I hope that the person that you're thinking about while you're listening to this video, that you go and share this with them right away because it's literally only available today and tomorrow and Wednesday. So we've got two more days after right now. It's evening time. And then it's going to go away. So Tupperware Dish Drainer, it's an awesome, awesome tool. Contact your personal consultant today if it's not me so we can get yours ordered for you, okay? And it's just a nice big size too, isn't it? Great way to finish your 2021 and head into 2022 with something that's going to make your life easier. Happy New Year, everyone.